Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name's Adam and I'm back with uh, episode 2 of my new Civilization series. Uh, we're carrying on exactly where we left off, or roughly where we left off last time. Uh, I had one settler here who was heading down to somewhere around here I think. And <laughs> And uh, he was going to settle a new city. I just didn't realise there's barbarians here. Hopefully they won't intercept him because settlers have absolutely no defence or anything. And so, fingers crossed that isn't going to be a problem. I should have really escorted them with something. Never mind. Live and learn. Uh, it looks like I've got some production to set up on at London here. So I don't know what we just finished building. But we finished building something. Oh, that's right. We built a... Uh, we bought boats, didn't we, I think? So we can start building something else. We can't build Stonehenge because it has to be adjacent to stone for some reason. Don't have any stone knocking around here yet. Uh, so I can't build that. So what I might do now is a builder. Builders improve tile spaces around here and that will help London to grow quicker. Uh, these guys, you know what, let's get them to set sail. Let's see what's out in the ocean. I mean, that's the whole idea. Uh, I want my slingers to take out him. He's a danger to me. He didn't do as good a job as I was hoping. Ah, oh, that's it. I've lost it. There. Oh, that was not a wise choice. So now I've actually given barbarians a settler, and now barbarians can set up a new camp. Not really what I wanted. Now, there are limitations to sailing, as you can see. You can only go so many spaces from the land. Uh, in this case, I can't go any closer. I'm going to go here just to see if there's any land visible here. There is not. That's disappointing. I'm going to see if I can't take my settlers back. Those are my settlers. Let's see if I can recapture them somehow. Uh, they're slow moving compared to these guys, so I should be able to capture them on the next turn, hopefully. If not, I've got other units on the way down that might be able to intercept. I'm not sure what's going on here. That's a bit of a weird one. That was a, that was a scout trying to attack my city. That makes little to no sense. Uh, I'm going to start looking down the... Uh, I can't quite get to them. I'm going to send these boys this way. Maybe they can intercept. Depending on where they go. I'm not sure why they're attacking with a scout. Scouts have very low attack. Oh! Barbarians! Attack! Great, but not terrible. Thank you very much, Russia. You've been very nice. You do occasionally get nice civilizations on here. Not always. But <laughs> I think it depends on the game speed. The man who has grit enough to bring about here we go, irrigation. Good. So that's hanging. That's uh, hanging. That's yes. conqueror going to hit just in time for my workers or uh, builders sorry to start upgrading everything around us next up though what do we want what do we want to do next we can look at the wheel we could look at bronze working uh, we could look at what what would what would be the next best thing uh, 
I mean, this is not a bad thing. I mean, this is something I need anyway, so, but that's an expensive one to get. It's going to take a while. What's the, what's the quickest one? Animal husbandry. Let's get that out of the way. And I have got some sheep and stuff, so it is usable. I can make a wonder. The Hanging Gardens. Not of Babylon yet. It's going to be the Hanging Gardens of London if I build them first. Increases growth by 15% in all cities and must be built next to a river. That's not a problem. We can do that. Plus two housing. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's going to help. Um, should we go for that or... No, no, we need to continue expanding. More settlers. And you are sending up north to the far edges to see if there's a bit of land that sticks out or something. Uh, builders, right, builders. Builders have now, as you can see, there's these extra icons. So these are recommendations. You can build a farm here, a farm there, or a mine there. This one, I think, is going to be the most beneficial. Uh, so I'm going to move in there and we get this little extra add-on thing build the farm which will give me another plus one food this I'm hoping my uh, my slingers can catch back up with the settlers and recapture my settlers from the uh, from the barbarians so it wasn't a total loss but it was more of a I don't caused a bit of a delay. Value of military knowledge. Uh, more civic stuff again. State workforce is going to take a long time, so let's do foreign trade. Get that one out of the way. There we go. My my boys are finished doing the uh, the farm here. We may as well just continue doing farms. So build a farm there. These boats can continue to explore. These slingers, I think, need to come down and help protect my settler. Slinger, I'm, I'm just going to say don't worry about for now. And let's go back to the settler who I can't remember. I guess it was here. Yes, that's why it was there. And I'm just getting him ready telling him to, to go in this direction when it's his turn. Right, you continue on, move to the next salt, build a farm. So all these bases are now going to make two product, uh, two food instead of just one. That's going to make the expansion of London much quicker. Uh, we've got a boat. Let's have him sail up here. Again, still Still nothing. Slingers need to escort my settlers. Uh, yeah, these guys can can also come in this direction. It's gotta gotta be something useful. There's a little tribal village right on the end there. probably could do with uh, another city somewhere in between this one and this one so at some point yeah that will be something to do uh, you, you keep moving forward still no land visible so not great ah here we go my settlers have arrived in the new position. I'm going to found the city. Manchester was born. And we got a little bit of a boost towards uh, one, of the, one of the things. Uh, first things first, I want something here that has good defence. We've got 20 for warriors. So that's probably going to be the best. I mean, don't get me wrong, slingers are fine but I'd rather have a melee 
brute defending Manchester. Fond of pigs. Good, good for you. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Sean is fond of pigs, everyone. Uh, slingers, slingers, these slingers. You know what? Let's send these guys back to London. And then these guys can, can look after Manchester. I think archery is a bit of a no-brainer there, isn't it? Let's bring this boat back so we can start trying to whittle down these other guys and uh, these these slingers I am going to put on alert so alert is similar to fortify they will just sit there and will not they won't hassle you they won't ask what to do for the next turn except if something comes near them they will wake up so it's uh, sort of automating that, that you, you don't have to worry about them they will come alive and let you know when they you know need to take some orders otherwise they're just going to sit there and chill so let's bring boats back because we're very aware that there are things knocking around these slingers should be back in london territory any moment one more turn for them i think here come the barbarians again. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to every nation lives by oh, exchange. A civic and uh, and research finished. So I need to do something on to do to do with boats. I've got to get my boats get out there, get further out there. So I think shipbuilding might be a good one. Um, allows the land units, well, it's something I desperately need, isn't it? I need my land units to be able to get onto the boats to get the hell out of here. Uh, civic. What's the quickest one? Mysticism. Which is recommended. Uh, I could build some great things. But I don't have the ability to uh, to use those types of policies just yet. So that's not that helpful necessarily. Uh, let's go with then. All right, let's just do it. Let's because I'm not necessarily focusing on culture right now. Let's get these boats to attack these barbarians. Hmm. They lost one. We lost one. Bit of a stalemate, stalemate there. Oh, London's built another settler. Uh, so at the moment, I'm just going to have them chill out here with my slingers. And I want them to go somewhere else. Manchester's going to expand, London's going to expand, so there's probably not really going to be much use here, after all. So, I mean, what's, there's no fresh water there, not the end of the world, but it would be a good spot for them. Let's move them here, and I'm going to start getting them to go that way. Oh, I'm going to have my slingers escort them every step of the way you can uh, rest and repair and London now can build something else what should we do with next um, I could go back to builders builders can only build three things by the way before they disappear so they have a limited amount they can do I've done three farms so They've, they've done their thing and now they've left. Uh, so let's slowly get these chaps with my settlers on their way. And I'm going to have the, the slingers only move one, one spot because that's all the, the settlers can do. 
Uh, warriors are here now, so he can now fortify. That's good. And what should we start getting building instead? I think a granary wouldn't be a bad idea. It will increase the, the growth of the city. Now, where are... Where's that uh, explorer? He's out there. I'm just going to keep it nice and easy, one move at a time. Good, my boats are repaired. Don't know where where the barbarians are, but they're out there somewhere. We're almost to the new city location. A couple more moves. We'll have our next one. Place your votes as to what city that you think that's going to be. I honestly don't know. I'll leave my boat there for the minute. London's got another builder. Let's uh, focus on, on food. As you can see, the city growth has slowed right down. So I need to focus on getting that city building or, or growing quicker. Uh, you know what? They can just chill there. And then the settlers can move to their new spot. And they can found a city. Liverpool. I should have known it was Liverpool. Liverpool, get building something awesome. What was Archers? Or stick. Oh no, that was London, sorry. That was the wrong one. Choose production. Sorry, you, you. This is the one I wanted, the warrior. Ah, well. I'm building a warrior in London, doesn't matter. It's another unit I can use to attack. Uh, I am going to... You know, I'm just going to tell them to chill. It won't take too long before the warrior is built. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favour with the city okay. state. Mysticism is the mistake of an accident. So, back to civics. Ah, we can. We can ask for open borders, so that's something that's you know worth looking into definitely. Uh, and invoice. So invoices are ways of um, sort of teaming up with city states, and you get little bonuses at certain points throughout, depending on how many invoices that you you send. So, for example, Auckland here give production boosts uh, depending on whether you give one, three or six envoys uh, Villainous give you culture boosts and Candy give you faith boosts still early stages so I like to focus on production at this point so it would probably be beneficial for me to send an envoy off to Auckland um, and that will give me uh, plus two production when producing wonders, buildings, and districts. So I think that's that's probably a, a good idea. You, uh, you builders, you know what you're doing. Build a farm. Improve London. Get London growing and building as quickly as possible. Uh, warrior, I'm going to send you up to Liverpool. Even though, you know, Liverpool is about to have its own, and it's already got some other things. So I think it uh, it would benefit. Uh, 
What will be something good for London now? Uh, at this point I haven't chosen what kind of uh, win I want to do. There's lots of different ways to win the game. You could win through just military might by obliterating everyone else. You can win by being the most scientific, the most cultured, the most religious, whatever. So you can focus. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with yet. But I've been kind of ignoring all of them. So I should probably think about about going in a certain direction. Uh, and I think building a campus would be a good place to start. And I don't want to... I don't want to use up too much of the. Hmm. I don't want to use up too much of the the, the food. So all of the ones with two and three don't. Want it. So it'll either be this site here, but this one here looks good because you get plus one because you are next to a um, next to a mountain. Yeah, plus one science from adjacent mountain tile. So I'm going to spend 70 gold and I'm going to plop it right there. Slingers, yeah, just stay there. You've got four more turns until the uh, warrior is, is ready. So that's the... You can see it's, it takes a little while for the districts to build. Obviously it's eight turns in this case. Uh, what would what be the next best thing? So we just make the mine here. It's a luxury resource so that will, will help. Uh, Sling is still just chill for the minute. I'm very aware of these barbarians that are dancing around the edge of, of our territory. So I, I don't really want to, uh, to lose anything there at the minute. But your mining operation has given you the ability to create an axle. Will the wheel follow? Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> hey, there we go. So Liverpool's finally got its warrior. I can tell him to fortify. Now the slingers can't stay there, you can't have two um, in a block like that all the time. So I'm going to send them off out. There we go. And as you know, these ones don't fortify. These ones... Let's go chasing after those guys. Liverpool now, let's go straight to a granary get the extra food going and uh, that will help Liverpool expand a bit quicker oh they're starting to gang up now so slingers let's take on these warriors these barbarians seem to be quite persistent don't they sometimes you can you can go a whole game and not really see any barbarians but uh, we seem to have quite a few of them go here uh, cool thanks mate that was really unhelpful Warriors versus Warriors. Let's see, we did alright. Did alright. Not awesome, but we did alright. Let's see if we can't finish these ones off. Yes. Well done, gents. Well done. Back down to Manchester now. Manchester is about to expand. Let's build a builder and uh, let's see if that helps. I'm also going to move my um, slingers here because this, this, sure, this this space between London and the mountains and here, but chances are any attacks are going to come from elsewhere. So I'm going to move these guys down here. Just, I'm just playing the, playing the odds a little bit. I, I, I don't know why. Shut, shut up, Russia. No one asked you. 
keep your nose out. <laughs> this happens a lot. Uh, let's go and see if we can't go and ruffle some feathers here. Oh dear, didn't do so well there. Let's see if these boys can do some damage. Not as much as I was hoping. But if he sits there. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Got a nice boost there towards uh, city state wonders. And things like that. That's good. Right. Oh, London's finished the the um, scientific districts. That means we can now build a library. So I think this particular time I'm going to go science. What do you think? I think it's a good a good strategy. Oh, what's going on here? Right, you guys can just chill. You get back into territory. And should I leave these guys here or send them on a bit of an explore? Maybe I should send them on a bit of an exploration. Oh! We found a new civilization. Let's see how very annoying you're going to be. I don't even know who that is. Arabia. Back over the past with its changing empires. That Back to civics. Let's get the state workforce done, seeing as I got a nice boost earlier. Uh, you stay. You need to fortify so you can heal. And you. Where, where did where did where did these guys come from? Where did Arabians? Where did the Ar Arabs? Where, where were they from? Oh, bit of water there. Is that a lake? Is this a lake? My liege, we are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Okay, great people of can bring bonuses. The more specialized districts Excuse we me. construct. The more we will draw in specialised great people. Yep, okay. We get the idea. Great people. Um, ah, look. Is that what I think it is? Is that our barbarian camp over there? I'm going to head straight out here because there's a, a little thing there. Uh, let's see what that is. Ooh. So... The Russians are angry with me for absolutely no reason. That's scary. Don't know what the deal is there, but they're, they're getting angry. Maybe because I'm not treating my people as well as they want me to. Is that what that's about? Not sure. Hopefully Walking won't mind me dancing around with their... with their... Um, Caravans. So I'm just doing a bit of exploring now. Ah, here we go. Here's Arabia. That's where I'm guessing that's Arabian land. Oh, nice boosts there. Some nice civic boosts. So London has just built its library. So that's a nice science boost. Uh, what can I build instead? Got to build something good. Got to build. Ah, oh, I can build a hanging hanging gardens now. Uh, again, where would I put that though? Is the big question. Let, let's let's go back to to something useful. Um, I've, I've got more more land again. Let's build another builder. Uh, in the meantime, let's send these guys on a bit of a run. Let's see what they can find. My slingers can start heading towards those gits over there. Oh, look, they're coming to me. Oh dear, that wasn't good. Our city-state neighbours have made a request of us. If we Okay, interesting. Oh, new error. There is nothing but a plank. 
between a sailor and eternity. Interesting, interesting. Let's get my warriors through these forests and whatnot. Let's see if these two can do any damage. Leveled it out a little bit, 2v2 now. Here's, here is uh, presumably the Arabian capital. I don't really know. But let's not bother them. Let's not hang around their borders. That's going to seem like I'm trying to harass them. Just want to explore at this point. Um, we need we need to start upgrading our units, don't we? Bronze working seems like a good idea. We can get the spearmen, which would be a nice upgrade for the warriors. And we can start going down the military side of things. That makes sense to me. Plus it's only, what, four turns away. It won't take too long. Oh dear. Oh, oh that was that was horrific. <laughs> that was gruesome. Uh, right, Manchester. How are you doing down here? They're doing it right, aren't they? Um, what would be a good thing to build down here? I was hoping to build like a harbour, but I haven't got that yet. So, well, they, they've they've had no improvements down here, have they? Oh, I've just made a builder before. Let's make let's make an archer. Because there's nothing down here to help defend. Liverpool has. Presumably just made something useful. The granary, I guess. So yeah, plus one from the granary. There's a lot going on here, so let's try and get them to build something useful. Archers. Not the best, but certainly help. So a bit of bit of an advancement there on something else. Warrior's taking a bit of a kicking from some archers there. But that particular warrior is now down and out. And now what I might do is promote him. And do I give him defence against the archers or attack when I actually go to kick their ass? I'm going to give you guys full attack attention. Uh, you have already built that, so let's build another one there. Slingers. Okay. Straight away, that was a barbarian outpost that was completely empty. Now the arrows want to do a deal. They want to have... They want open borders. And they're going to give me some money. Do I want them just walking through my territory as and when? Bear in mind this only lasts a certain amount of time. It's not forever. Go on, I mean, uh, why not? Like they've, they've not done anything wrong. I, I don't see any reason why we can't, uh, can't get along. And they give me a little bit of money anyway. I'm also interested in it is equally important oh, civics have... and research complete so I, you know, I want to do more boating so this makes sense celestial navigation it's definitely the way to go um, let's do a civic first political philosophy Ah, new government types. Autocracy, oligography, and classical republic. That's a terrible pronunciation, I apologise. Uh, back to these guys. Let's send my my warriors in, who should be able to do some damage to these guys. They did, but not as much as I was hoping. I can build a banana plantation over there, that would be good. And these slingers, I think, it's about time they came home. I'm going to automate them coming home, so I don't have to keep telling them where to go. 
Oh dear, yeah. That's not looking good for my warriors here. One of the things I want to get going up there is some uh, animal husbandry. I'm going to kill these guys. Not going to. I'm going to sacrifice my warriors. I think is probably the more accurate one. They survived. I'm very surprised at that. Uh, London has finished building whatever it was building. Uh, I could build an encampment, which is uh, obviously very good for for military stuff. But I don't really want to do that right now. You know what, let's build the Hanging Gardens. And I'm going to spend some money and I'm going to put it right here. Assuming I can be the first one to uh, to actually build it. Yeah, he didn't stand much of a chance, did he? Shame. Right, these guys can build a uh, pasture. That's good. That's giving us a, a boost to horseback riding. And move over to here and build a mine. Just here, I guess. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do two mines if there's any. He's got two builds left, yeah, so mine there, mine elsewhere. Uh, archers, good move. Uh, let's make some spearmen. Spearmen will replace the warrior, so I'll send the warrior out once once they're built. But I want to get that encampment. I don't want an uh, encampment too close to my one of my cities, so let's... Head. Let's head out and see if we can get hold of them. More archers. Oh, look, now they can go by boat. Don't have to worry about uh, about issues on the land. That's good. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you also could do another builder. And then I think it's time for another settler. So London's looking pretty good now. Is it starting to get pretty big? Let's take out these archers. These should be no problem. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. What's here? Mercury. Interesting. Set your course by the stars. Ah. London's next job. Coming up, right? What's a uh, what's a good one to build now? You know, what? we haven't had the wheel yet. We should have had the wheel long ago. Uh, let's just get that done, and let's see if we can get rid of this dude. It shouldn't be a problem at all. A single hit, I one shot at him. Take that, barbarians, and and take this, barbarians as well. Not the best, but not bad either. My slingshotters are back. Let's pop them on alert. Yeah, I don't really care, Russians. Go away, leave me alone. I'm busy trying to sort things out. Defend against these barbarian gits. They didn't. They didn't fare too well, did they? <laughs> right, send my guys back into our territory where they can rest and recover. And I think I'm going to send these archers up there as well. It's, it's a long way away, but 
I think they'd appreciate the support. Excellent. These gents here have finished and... Yes. Ah, oh. We got the hanging gardens, I think. Yes. Sent to the highest stories by stairs, and at their side are water engines. So that's going to be a little boost for, the for, uh, for basically every, all Politics of my cities. The so that's really the possible, good. The attainable, the art of the okay, we've got stairs. new governments unlocked. Let's have a look now. Which so originally it was chiefdom, where we could just have one military and one economic policy. Now we can go to the first line here, so we can choose any of these three now. So we can go no military, just two economic, uh, one, whatever the green one is. What's the green one? Diplomatic, that's it. Uh, one diplomatic and then a wild card. You can choose whatever you want for that. Or autocracy, one of each. Or oligarchy, oligarchy, that sounds better. Two military. One economic, one wild card, which can be anything. Uh, you also get these other bonuses, so bonus great people points, 10% bonus wonder production, or combat units. All land units gauge plus four combat. Capital receives more yield. Seeing as I'm doing a lot of combat in a minute, and I'm worried that the Russians, ironically, are <laughs> coming to get me. I'm going to change to Oligarchy. And now I can choose whatever I'd like. So, what? I think I'll keep the plus five combat strength when fighting barbarians because they're still knocking around at the minute. Um, what else have we got? So, unit maintenance. Not too worried about at the minute. I'm still making a, 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 a profit. I've got production to naval units, double experience, production to heavy and light cavalry. Hmm. Bit of, I wonder what what that would do. Maybe I should do that just to stop the money from going because I'm not far away from from being uh, going into the red. Increased production in all cities by one is. Not a bad one, and I might just keep that. Uh, and I can also, if there's something else here I like, I can put that down there. So, these, these great people points ones, maybe for the science one, but I'm not too fussed. Maybe diplomatic. Not too fast either. I think I'm going to go with production increase towards settlers because um, I really need to expand. I'm I'm, I'm lagging behind here, and look, Mos uh, Moscow, Russia. We've got at least three that we can see here. Uh, right, so back to civics. Let's just do whatever's the cheapest at the minute. London, you 100% need your Royal Navy Dockyard and I'm going to plop you right there. Makes sense doesn't it to put it right there. Uh, let's have a look here because did... yes they did so was it Candy was it? Yeah Candy came all the way out here and uh, and took the barbarian camp that I had spent all that time trying to go and get. So let's have a look at the time. Oh yeah this episode's gone on long enough. So while everyone moves and Sean talks over me. <laughs> um, it's time to end this episode. Uh, again if you like this sort of thing you want to see uh, you know suggest what what I do and don't do comments below let me know what your thoughts are. Um, as always, I'm always going to ask for subscribes and likes if you like this sort of thing. Don't forget to put the bell on as well if you don't want to miss an episode. 
and just generally yeah thank you for joining me um, I'll see you on the next episode <laughs>